being dads and family men this past week, so we've not been out filming. Instead, we thought we'd bring you what we've got left on our memory card. The episodes that never got made, never got produced. Here we go. Alexa, who are World War II Wendell? World War II Wendell are the legends of the magnet fishing game. And devilishly handsome men. Welcome to the Wendells and the beautiful, absolutely beautiful Swithland Reservoir. Steam trains still run over it. Hopefully one will go by while we're here. And Wendells Magnet Fish it. Here's Uncle Ian. We're going to do a couple of test shots, see if there's anything in here. Here we go. Cal's Magnet. Okay. Here we go. There we go then. Don't fall in. Bit of a knot there. That's where Colin used it last. You used it last. Show along the bridge line. Yeah. Not mine. Yeah. Oh, flaps on you. Flaps on you. Yep. We've come to Gordon Street in Leicester. And we've come to look at this. Now this is a very rare survivor, this building here. This is a one up, one down. And this is the type of building that my relatives, Ian's relatives, would have lived in in central Leicester back in the day. This was built around 1820, this building, this entire block just here. And this is one of the very few, one of the last surviving buildings like it in Leicester. This tiny house was due to be pulled down as part of Leicester's slum clearances in 1931. But due to a clerical error, it never happened and it still survives today in 2019. The people who own the site are trying to get permission to level it and build a nasty block of flats. But the local heritage people are fighting that. Good on them. And you'll never guess what that building was just there, Ian, right next door. No. Go on, have a guess. What would you like to live next door to? Uh, train station. <laughs> well, no, no, all right. It was a pub, a pub called the Brewer's Arms. In 1835, that used to be an old boozer. So there you go, just a little bit of history. We had a light we got inside. But obviously, they've declared it unsafe. They're just waiting for it to fall down. Instead of doing something with it, they're, they're gonna let it fall down and then they'll level the site and make all the money on it. Sure. Our objective, try and get to that water tower. We're about a mile away. We've got Uncle Ian sweating, yeah. looking on Google Earth. We've got Callum thinking about stealing my drink because he drank his own an hour ago. We're the Wendell boys. <laughs> We're on another World War II RF base mission. Wellington bombers came in here. And Wellington boots sit on there. Oh, you got a bite yeah. on you, Callum. Stay there, turn around. Let me just show the viewers. Wait, get it then. Slap That's it. One with nature. Nice oh, Callum. Where? Where you bugger at this? What is that? It's one with the, the bike. Let's go the other way. What was it? Can't get through. Can you Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on the I'm to hold it low. So I can. Bad angles right now. Do you want to get to a milkshake? I don't want a milkshake. You don't? Oh, well, the milkshake would be nice now. Oh, no, I want it now. Oh, banana one. I'm stuck. You're stuck? I'm through. I'll have my banana one. Grease him up, he's coming through. Yeah. How low do you want to go? Come on, I'm going to get first one to close the way. Oh, there's a door on it. Sealed. No, we'll get in. Yeah. 
Cal, press the camera then. Ah, there you go. I've got it low. There you go. <laughs> Let me get my head through. Oh, wow. It's still recording. It's still recording. I can't. It's I've got still... my hat stuck. It's still recording. So we're still oh, recording. Oh, Good point. Ian. Fast forward, Ian. Oh, Pass the camera. <laughs> wow. Say what you see. Here we are. Experience it together. Here's the door. Look at this. Is it good? I think it's an electric room. It's got a wood, it? wooden door on. Cal, you got the torch? Oh, yeah. We're in. We're in. Light switches. Vents. That's three pin plug hole. Oh, oh, fuse board. Revs. Is that? Or EVS. Or EVR, isn't it? Ooh, 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 ooh. 230 watt. No, that's got a date on it, Norris. 1959, that. Is it? See it? It's there. Just up a bit. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. Ian's got his arm at full length trying to get that over my shoulder. I can smell his breath. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like uh, ham. Um, or at least I'm hoping that's ham. There's my back. Fuck socket. No yeah, back. there's my back. <laughs> okay, well. We're wartime, time, baby. Another vent up there, look. So we don't know what the room is, unfortunately. I will try and do a bit of research, and if we find out, I'll caption it right now. Uh, Anyone see any writing? What's that there? Can you just spin that over? Yes. That's the, oh no. Turn it over. Turn it. Danger. Danger Electric. Baldwin Registered Design. So obviously then this is a power room. I'm yeah. thinking. I said that. Almost certainly. Yeah. Oh, it's got a muscle to it. Look at that door. Oh, fine. A little bit of woodworm, needs a bit of treatment, but I think we can salvage it. Yeah. Come on, you could live in here, mate. No. No? If I have a nice bit of electricity, Wi Fi, I can live in here now. Coming out, Ian's just discovered a third room then. Well, yeah, I don't think there's going to be any prizes for guessing what this one was for. Actually, it's good for it. Look, yeah, concrete. So we think we found another wartime building then. <gasps> Metal on the floor next to me. What's this? No, that's for uh, cables, isn't it? Okay, you know. I can't. Can watch your fingers. What's that made of? Is that not water? Oh, yeah. Could be any year, that could be 80s, that. Oh, it's a range of buildings, there's loads. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's like stable kind of things. That's where it is. It's there. It's one of the big buildings. That's a reinforced door. That is some serious concrete, isn't it? Look at the depth of that. It's made out of solid concrete. Yeah. Light fitting would have been. I think there's different hinges on the doors. Yeah. It's like a blast door, isn't it? Mm. Look how thick this door frame is that Ian's found. It's like a blast door. I wonder if it were for explosives. Bomb, bomb store? Could be a bomb store, couldn't it? It could be. Yeah. Imagine the door that would have been hinged on that. It would have been huge. Look how deep it is, the jam. There was so much serious stored in this room. They've just found some money, the boys, up in the corner. Oh, Ian's about 5p up. And Callum has found something absolutely rubbish. If you just shine down there, you can just see how the concrete's been constructed. Look, see the reinforced bars in the concrete when it's been made? Yeah. Just there, just where it's starting to erode now a bit. That's, that's what's come away, yeah. Yeah, this room, amazing. And here the echo. Very. Yeah, imagine what would have been stored in here. Can you, you know, if you just think about it, what would have been in here? Or a peg. A peg. So Callum's just lifted up what I thought was attached to the ground for electrics, but it turns out it's not, look. Look what it's found. Is that for cooking? Anybody know? Some sort of tripod look. I'm not sure what that is. Mm. Is there more bits of it there? The windows. No, that's part of what you've got there, isn't it? Anybody know what that is, look? 
we've made it right onto the old base then. And would you look at this? This is the old water tower. And it's absolutely huge. You think, Ian, six foot two, six foot three? Look at the size of this thing. I bet that was a lot a target. Let's have a closer look. Got to watch where we're standing. What's this say then? FH. Now that means fire hydrant. So there's obviously some sort of uh, cistern below me now. Oh, I think Ian's found the latrine. Give it a knock, Ian. Make sure no one's having a poo. Anybody in there? <laughs> Is it the toilet? Power. Oh, it's power. I think it was. Could have been. I don't know. I don't know. We'll shut that up. Yeah, shut that too, yeah. Probably said something on there, but obviously that's long gone. Look at this then. Now this is engineering. British steel. Part of the ladder's been removed, look. That's obviously for safety. But this is like our version of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. Oh, I love things like this. Why did they do there, there's the old ladder. Part of the ladder there, oh. look. They, they do it so tall, um, the higher they go, the more pressure you get. Oh, nice. An S. Oh, Ian's found part of an old sign. That is an S. Oh, five. Oh, five Can S you put it in the shade somewhere? I can't quite pick it up. Here, yeah, where's the sun? That's it. Yeah, it's an S. Where's the rest of it? What did it say? Don't stand where you are. <laughs> Look at this. Huge. 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 Go on then, Cal, what were you going to say? No. Da, 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 da. Let's do Cal's comments. What you got for us this week, Cal? This week, I want to know, could you describe uh, three things you like about me, Ian, Jade, James? Comment down below. Three things you like. So one thing yeah. you like about each of us. That's it, positivity. That's what Wendell's are all about. We don't have trolls, we don't have negativity. Three things you like. Well done, Cal. Yeah. On the spot. This is now a business park, this RAF base, but it's littered, completely littered with these type of huts. This one's still got the original windows in, look. Look at these. There's Callum. Old barracks, storage, anything these could have been used for. Canteen. Yep, canteens, <laughs> sports halls, absolutely anything. We're trig point hunting today on World War II Wendell. We know that there was a trig point somewhere in this copse. Today we're going to find it. Is that right, Cal? Yes. Da, 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 da. Let's do Cal's comments. What you got for us this week, Cal? Uh, do you like the new variation of videos we are doing on this channel lately? Recognise Ian takes the lead. Yeah. Comment down below. <laughs> are you enjoying the uh, variation? On yeah. World War II, Wendell. Thank you very much. Good one again, Cal. I think, think you've said that before, though. Yeah, like a thousand videos ago. Yeah. Mm. Where are we, Cal? Six Hills. Yeah. You know what this is famous for, don't you? Six Hills. Six Hills have eyes, Callum. Just what? in these woods here. What do you mean? Hills have eyes. Okay. You gotta be a man to do that. What? That's what you're saying, aren't they? You're going in the woods first, Cal. Oh, yes. Yeah. Just on the way to a very near video, then. And look at this beauty that we found. This is the old roundhouse at Barapon Saw. If you read this, it used to be a lock up where they put the drunks of the village. And look who's here now. It's the Wendell boys. <laughs> you can still see the balls in the windows, look. Anyway, on to the video. Come on, lads. On our way to a little urbex mission, the road was closed that we needed to go down, so we took a bit of a detour, and look what we've come across. Spotted by unclear, I must say. It's a trick point. So, an Ordnance Survey triangulation station, this is. We're here metal detecting today, then. Thanks to Ian's contacts, we've got permission to do this little site. 
that back in the day held railway cottages, was it? Yep. Station master's Station house. house. There was a little row of houses here. Long, long gone. The railway's long, long gone. But the Wendell's rear. We actually did a recce. Me and Ian came here a couple of weeks ago. And just walking around, we managed to pull these things out. Now these are off an old mangle. What's a mangle? It's a fruit cow that you eat. It's how they used to dry the washing in the oh. old days. Yeah? Uh-huh. So it just proves that there's stuff in here. And Ian also found, amongst loads of other bottles, look at this one. An old lube bottle. I like my lube. <laughs> SO lube. Yeah. And look at the size of this. That's a lot of lube. A lot of lube. Lubricant. So we can see this thing's probably from the 20s up to, what do you think, 60s? 60s, yeah. 60s or so. Let's do a bit of metal detecting. Let's see what we can find. Well, then, Ian. Just move whatever that is. What's that then? It's metal. Not sure on it's that. It's like a oil. No, it won't be a petrol cap, will it? Too small. Don't know. Not sure what that is. Scrap bucket, anyway. Scrap bucket. Let's carry on. I'm finding loads of bits like this. That's a little piece of lead. But there's obviously been people in here, there's little bonfires everywhere. Beer cans, tons and tons of stuff. So we're having to ignore most of what we're picking up and only going for the real clear signals. But we have just found this, didn't we, Cal? Yeah. And it's something you've always wanted, isn't it? Yeah. Come on then, Cal. Because Callum... I always wanted to be on TV. <laughs> Ian just spotted something then, down here. What do we think this is then, Ian? It's like the bit that goes at the bottom of the fire. You know, to goes, catch the it? ash and stuff. Yeah. Like the base of an old fireplace. That's where the tiles would have gone. Yeah. Yeah, that's the bottom yeah. of the tiles. So I bet that was in one of the uh, railway workers' houses. Yeah. At some point. Probably in the main house. Could have been, couldn't it? Yeah, in the old station master's house. Let's keep looking. Just walking along, the detectors picked this up straight away. Something big. <laughs> Something you spill out, it's not the grooves. Mm. Yes. Break it. Oh, you got a handle. It's got a handle. Oh, it's a good one. Go on, Ian. Frying tonight. Frying tonight. Not the best site for metal detecting this one. Kids have obviously been uh, drinking and drinking and drinking. We're finding can after can. But we are starting to find these old bottles. You know, probably 60s, 70s. But at least we're going back in time. We're getting there. We'll find some delicious apples. Yeah, we've just uh, found an apple tree as well that must have been one of the old back gardens because we have just spilled our bellies up. Yeah, I do. Oh, Cal, what's that down there? Straight under you. Ian, Ian. What is that? Are they tiles? Mm-hmm. So that's probably off another fireplace. fireplace then. Look at these old beauties, all the floor. Look at them, that's like you're finding a hallway, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so we're definitely yeah, we're where cool. the houses are. Da, 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 da. Let's do Calm's comments. What you got for us this week, Cal? Um, if you know any metal detecting places. You've done that two weeks ago. Oh. Uh, <laughs> if you have any old bottles that you have, old vintage ones, let us know. <laughs> you get worse and worse. Yeah, I do. <laughs> that was Colin's comments. Do you like bottles? No, I don't see how it's What have you got, Ian? Oh, well, that's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a whole bit of pipe. There you go, you want that for your thingy, Colin? And um, can I have that? Can I have that? Oh, there's another. Uh, yeah, that's a tea. Yeah. Tea, no, no markings. Mm. Got a bucket? Oh, yeah. Is that, there's a sign there, is that sign plastic? Looks it, doesn't it? Yeah. Duckham's here. Book it. Book it. Corroded. Mm, bottom gone. 
Now, if that said fire on it, and that was an old railway one, that would. That. That would uh, it does look you... like. No, it's a bit too small. There's no markings on it. Yeah, it's had it anyway, isn't it? It's had it. Yeah. Oh, well. Never mind. Turned up late for that one. Yeah, the search continues. Welcome to the Wendells and a little Facebook exclusive. We've got Ian, James. The boys are in the car behind us. Didn't want to play. What? Didn't want to play. We think the messaging girls. We found this beautiful little bridge. Absolutely stunning. And this, we think, is a brook just off the River Lynn. In Leicestershire. Oh, there's a stone on it here. Dating stone. Can you read what it says? Can't read it from here. Right in the centre. 18 something, isn't it? That camera picking that up? I think that says 1851. So there you go. 170-odd years old, this little bridge. So 170 years worth of treasure yep. waiting for the Wendells today. Not very deep. We were just literally coming back from an urbex mission. We thought we'd try it. Yeah, I like Ian's roped up and ready then. In we go. In we go. Man, magnet, yeah, Callum's little magnet we thought. We didn't think we'd need the beast one out of the car. Oh dear. Under the bridge. Not looking good. Not looking good. Oh. Oh. Whatever that was, it. I think you've come off. Yeah. Well, there's something on it. And it just bits of crust. Off a lighter. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit off a lighter, rubbish. Comes bucket. Bye bye. Oh no. You try it. We were asked the difference between when we say that's for Callum's bucket, that's Ian's bucket. Ian, do you want to explain? I get all the good stuff, Callum gets all the rubbish. If it's worth saving, it goes in Ian's bucket. If it's junk... It goes in Callum's. Callum's bucket. And he has to carry it back. And leaf? No. no. Not looking good. Feels weird using this magnet. Not looking good. 